Some days, it feels like it's just really hard to get along with people. Some people just seem to rub you the wrong way. And then you say or do something that you know doesn't make things any better. And then you find yourself in the corner in trouble again. Sometimes things just happen that don't sit right in your heart. I want to explore an idea with you today, and it's about love languages. Most of us know that we talk with our voices in our English language, or our Arabic language, or our French language, or our Aboriginal language. A lot of people know we have body language. You can tell when you're wild, your breath goes in and out. It's like an early warning system to tell you something's going haywire. So your body language is a really strong indicator of how you're feeling. But we have other languages too. The way we show and know that we're loved. Some people say it with words. You might have a friend who every time you see them says, Oh wow, it's you. I'm really glad you're here. You're my best friend. I wish I could come over to your house tonight. Can we do something together? Do you want to sit next to me during recess? So they use their words to let you know they care about you and you're really important to them. Other people give gifts. You might be the kind of person who walking home from school sees a feather on the ground and you just pick it up because you know you want to give it to your mum when you get home. You might have a grandma who can't help going through the checkout at the shop without buying you something and she's always coming at you with presents. Sometimes you really like them. Other times you're not really sure why she bought it for you but she just can't resist showing you that she loves you with presents. Other people do jobs for you. Have you got a mum or a dad who's always packing your lunch, making your bed, making sure you're driven to school on time? They're just always doing kind little things for you to show you that they care. Sometimes it doesn't feel so kind when they're always telling you, do you realise how hard I work for you? But actually, they're working so hard for you because they love you very much. Doing the dishes, cleaning the bathroom, all the things they do to make sure you have a nice, easy life and you're able to get to school ready to learn. They're called acts of service. You might even do it with a little brother or sister where you help them do their homework or make sure their bag's packed for school. When you get your lunch and put it in your bag, you take theirs for them as well. You might even just play with them when they're feeling a little bit lonely. That's what we call acts of service. So we've got words, words of affirmation, which say something good about you. We've got acts of service, and we've got gifts. There's a couple of others as well. Who's got a mum or dad who just can't walk past them without rubbing their hair or giving them a little snuggle or just patting them on the hand? Who's got a mum who even when you're standing at the checkout, they grab a hold of you and give you a little hug and a kiss? Even if someone you don't want to see is watching. Oh. Some people just love to hug. They love to feel that you're right there next to them. Who thinks their dad's a touchy-feely kind of person? Some people look at their dads and think they're not. But does your dad wrestle you? Well, maybe he is the kind of person who would love you to just give him a pat on the back when he's done something really good. There's one more that we sometimes forget because it's very quiet and sometimes very still.
it's called quality time. You don't have to be doing anything or saying anything or even giving someone anything. Just being yourself. Just being right where you are. Just by you being there, they find that special. If you think about your teachers or your parents or even your best friends, you'll start to realise they have different languages. Now you'll notice when we're doing activities, some kids just want to jump on top of the kid next to them and always be touching them and poking them. This is someone who knows they're cared about if they can touch you. Maybe you've got a grandpa or someone who likes to take you fishing or just go and sit at the beach somewhere quietly. They're a quality time kind of person. Sometimes this can be a little confusing, especially if someone lives far away or you can't have them in your life every day. I know some people whose mum or dad doesn't live with them. And sometimes all they want is for them to send them a present for their birthday or ring them up and say, I love you and I'll never forget you even though I can't be there today. But they don't ring or they don't send anything. It might be that that person is sitting at the other end of the telephone, just wishing you could be right there with them. Just having some quality time with you. Maybe they just wish that things could be different, but they don't know how to make it different. So you see, our different lang love languages can sometimes be a little bit confusing because we all do them a little bit differently every day. So try and figure out what's the love language of the people around you and see if you can let them know just how much you care. <laughs>